Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and today we're going to be starting our trading to 1 million series we've all been waiting for. So, when I stopped uploading this series on FIFA 12, I got a lot of people asking me to carry on, so that's kind of what I'm doing now, I'm carrying it over to FIFA 13. I was a little bit unsure of what I should call this series, I'm going to call it trading to 1 million for now, but it might change to something like um, hunting for gold or something along those lines. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know when it does um, and if it does. So uh, if you don't get the main aim of the series, it's just basically I'm allowed to trade in whatever way I can to earn profit and eventually get to 1 million coins. And along the way I'll show the three different techniques that I use, the kind of players I found to be effective and why, that kind of thing. Um, what might also happen in this series is I might open a pack every now and then just because the web app, uh, before, the, before FIFA 13 comes out, when you're on the web app, you get a new gift every day that you're on it. So I uh, can't really help that out, but it also gives me a little bit more coins to spend. Obviously, the more coins I have, the bigger risk, risks I can take, also meaning the more profit I can make in each bid. Now, in the video behind me, you would have seen me open up my packs. Um, as you can see there, I got a Nene in my first pack, which is all very nice to get um, because he's a very good player. He used to be um, even better in FIFA 12, in my opinion, because he had a little bit more pace. Pace is going to um, not mean so much in this game, but... Um, it's you know still going to be something that uh, players look for when they play on Ultimate Team. Now, also got a Kakieres, I think that's how you say his name. Sorry if I pronounce it wrong, I'm not very good at pronunciations. He's the Uruguay uh, right back. Who knows, he might he would make a better centre back. He might get an in form as a centre back in the future. That'd be nice if he did. Um, but he's still worth something, so I'm grateful for getting him as well. Now, when you're going to put up your players for the first time, it's very important that you um, analyse the market, you know, see what players are going for what price um, and then try and underprice the one that's on there or undercut the one that's on there so that your player gets bought first or you know if you've got a good formation so you've got 4 one 2 one 2 or something or pretty much any formation start with 4 they usually go for just maybe 500 coins more uh, in the case where they cost 5,000 coins or something you might uh, the one starting with 4 might go for 6,000 whereas the one that starting with 5 goes for 5,000 so just be aware of that that formation does make a difference because formation start with four uh, are a lot more popular basically so the other players I actually got um, I discarded a few there or quick sold a few of them um, there's, I got a player here called Schneiders um, from the Eredivisie League who had 89 pace um, and he was a rare silver so obviously I went to check him out and it looked like um, he went for around about 5k um, but I'm not too sure I went to put up the players after and um, yeah so he hadn't even sold but I um, he, he should go for at least a thousand coins because of his pace and the fact that he's a rare silver. I then come back onto the web app, um, I think because I started the web app about 12 o'clock or just before before the day started. When I come back on and signed in, um, it gave me another free pack um, because it thinks it's a new fresh day. So I opened that up, didn't really get much in there, but you know it's better than a kick in the teeth. Um, I then realised when I went to my squads um, that I still had all my bronze plays, you know, the ones that you start off with that the. Uh, ultimate team give you so I figured you might as well just quick sell all of those players even if it only gives me say uh, 500 coins or something in total um, it's still worth um, something to trade with um, as I said you know the more coins you have um, the more risk bigger risks you can take and uh, the more expensive players you can buy I mean you can get more profit uh, in each player that you buy and sell so after that we went to uh, the trade uh, or yeah our trade pile and um, we went to see the players that um, didn't sell. So Kekiaras, uh did sell. Um, he managed to sell for the price I put him up for. Nene still um, struggling to sell. Josue there and Schneider's still hadn't sold. Um, I started to lower their price maybe by about 10% each time. Um, that's a technique you guys should use. If they don't sell straight away, um, just lower their price for by, by about 10%. Have a quick look on the market again, just like I was here with Schneiders, um, just to see what's happening. You know, maybe his price has just dropped a lot because he's not very popular. I mean, Eredivisie League is not going to be very popular to trade with to start off with. It might do when once the game fully comes out, but I don't think um, it's not a very good league to trade in um, at this stage. Um, I also went and checked Nene because he wouldn't sell either, and it turned out that Nene's price was slowly dropping. So I, w I really wanted to sell him before he drops too much, so I lowered the price by about a thousand coins. And at this stage, I had quite a few few thousand coins. I weren't too sure on who to buy and sell because um, there was just a few issues with the web app. Not everyone was online, so I didn't want to uh, go risky and buy an expensive player and find out that I can only sell him for what I bought him for. So. I went and find went to find a uh, a bronze player called Cabba that used to be really good on uh, FIFA 12 and FIFA 11. 
Um, the reason why I found him and wanted to buy and sell him was because he's going for pretty much a buy now of 200 um, in a formation that started with four. So people will look at that and think, you know, Cavi used to be good. He's, pr he's only had a little bit of a, a pace drop or actually quite a lot of a pace drop. I still buy him if I, if he's up there for 350. So all I did was buy players for about somewhere between 200 and 350 coins. And then I would up it by about 200 coins. So I was pretty much making a double the profit. or well, not double the profit, but double the money. So if I bought one for 200, I'd sell it for 400 or 450. So I'll get uh, my money back and also an extra one if that makes sense. And what I also did after that was... Um, uh, Everything sold, well not everything sold, only half the things sold like the uh, Torrento badge um, and some of the silver players that I had. Still Nene, still not selling, um, Diego Carvalho, the old silver goalkeeper wouldn't sell either. Jasui and Schneiders and then a few Cavers. Uh, one of the Cavers did sell, but um, they've been a bit, little bit of a pain in the butt because this web app has been uh, going up and down all um, all of uh, today and yesterday. So it's been a real pain in the butt. Um, not as many people have been online, so they hadn't been buying them. I managed to sell Josue in the end, um, there for uh, 250, I think it was, or 200 by now. And then I had to relist all the players again. Um, at, th at this point in time, um, today is th is this trading. What you're seeing now is from today, literally like an hour ago. So uh, the date today is the 20th, and um, I had about 6,000 coins, so I thought I'd spend it in the League of Brazil's um, League, which is what I usually trade in the most, and that's where I get the best results. So what I found is um, silver left backs and right backs. Um, if I could try and find some of them for a, a good buy now, I put a maximum buy now of 500, and any any one with a pace of about 78 or close to 80, try and buy them because if they're in a good formation, you can always sell for pretty much 950 um, because they're always going to be popular with um, Brazil. Uh, Liga do Brazil squads, you know, let's say someone has Neymar, Lucas, but they just didn't have enough money for Marcio Azevedo, but they wanted some pace, then they would have to resort to buying a pretty average left back or something. So uh, they're always going to be worth something. Um, the next thing I went to do is I uh, just make sure um, I knew the prices of them. Um, also bought an Avine and Lucio. The reason I bought a Vine for 2,000 coins, which wasn't a good deal, was because he was the only one on the market for around that price um, and if I was going to sell Lucio I've got to make it appealing uh, to buy Lucio for 2,000 coins rather than 2,500 if there's one on the market a vine there for 2,000 then he's not likely to be bought so I had to uh, make sure I bought all the players that are in competition of me selling it so that brings me to the end of this episode of trading to 1 million it would be greatly appreciated if you could return a thumbs up for this video to show your support for the series um, I'll be looking to upload one of these videos daily uh, until the game, full game comes out. So stay tuned for them, and I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye. I'm playing straight away. Doing this technique is a no-loss technique, so it's good for people that don't have a lot of money, as you can always sell. The second technique is bidding on a gold player for a maximum of 300, and is very, very similar to the first technique I just showed you.